in space from the distant planet of Triglyceride 7, they came to Earth. They came here with one purpose in mind, because frankly, they can only think of one thing at a time. Their mission on this planet, to assist in the quest for truth, justice, and a better quality cat food without the fishy aftertaste. And who might these visitors from another galaxy be? I'll tell you. They're a breed of extraterrestrial feline crime fighters known to the world as Space Cats. Stationed in a hidden location deep beneath the Earth's surface is the Space Cats' secret headquarters. Its location is so secret that even the space cats don't know where they are. It is here that they monitor the world above, utilizing the latest space age technology and watching cable TV. <laughs> Led by Captain Catgut, their commander and softball coach, the Space Cats wait to receive the orders that will affect the lives of everyone on this planet. Orders sent to them from their home planet by an alien game show host, the great Dork, the disembodied omnipotent ruler of cats. Join us now as the Space Cats prepare to receive their latest mission. All right now, listen up everyone. We're Space Cats. We're proud, we're furry, we're the greatest team of crime fighters the Earth has known. We can't afford to make mistakes. Now, it's important that each and every one of you pay attention to your job. We won't tolerate any slacking off. I hope I made my point. That is all. This is your leader, signing off. Uh, Captain Catgut, although it certainly applies, you do not always have to call me, oh, great one. Fine. May I call you Doug? No, kindly refer to me by my official title, the disembodied, omnipotent ruler of cats. No offense, sir, but that's a mouthful. Then call me Dork for short. Very well, Dork for short. Not Dork for short, just Dork, period. Very well, Dork, period. Dork, it's Dork. Can't you just call me Dork, stupid? Sure, Dork, stupid. But, sir, frankly, that's pretty silly. Why don't I just call you Dork? Oh. Sometimes I ask myself, why me? Why was I chosen to supervise a bunch of stupid cats? I was doing very well as a game show host before this assignment. You were a game show host? Oh, just watch the screen, dummy. This is Sprinkles the Clown, a very popular kiddie show host, up until now. <laughs> I'm 
boys and girls. Today we're gonna learn about Mr. Sock and Mr. Shoe, and which one we put on first. He was educational and entertaining. But recently his behavior started becoming rather bizarre. How could you tell? Try to stay with this. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're gonna play with Mr. Guillotine. <laughs> that is pretty bizarre. That's just part of it. Lately, Sprinkle seems like a whole different clown. He's even stopped carpooling to work. Gee, it's sad to see a clown go bad. Captain Catgut, I want you to launch a full-scale investigation. Find out why Sprinkles is acting so strangely. Maybe he's not getting enough vitamins. I doubt that, you idiot. This is a part of something much larger, more sinister. How could you be so sure? Because if it wasn't, this wouldn't be much of an adventure, would it? Probably not. Take care of the situation, Captain. Not to worry, dork, sir. I'll find out what's going on with this clown. Oh, goody, goody. Now the world can rest, knowing there are cats on the job. Not just any cat, sir. Space cat. I still like the idea of space hamsters. I think I'll make a mental note <laughs> and talk to my superiors. <laughs> Captain Catgut immediately put his crack space cat team on the case. The courageous crew will be led by Tom, an expert in weapons and demolitions and a fairly good speller. He also claims to have invented the cat door. Assisting Tom is the feline team of Scratch and Sniff. Scratch is a master of disguise who can camouflage the space cats in outfits ranging from famous people to inanimate objects, as shown in this recent photo. Scratch is named for his constant scratching, caused by a family of space fleas living in his fur. Oddly enough, they've been known to burst into song from time to time. La, 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 la. And finally, we have Sniff, who is noted for his keen sense of smell. He can smell trouble a galaxy away. <laughs> Especially if it hasn't showered recently. Unfortunately, he's plagued with numerous allergies and spends a large part of his day filling up tissues. Indubitably, the perfect team for the job. Courageous, highly skilled, and almost completely over their ringworm problems. Our adventure begins as our heroes arrived in the nick of time at Sprinkle Studio. I said our heroes arrived at Sprinkle Studio in the nick of time. <laughs> Hey, sorry we're late, but uh, Scratch had a stop to use the sandbox. Hey, that'll be 3850, not including the tip. We don't tip. We're superheroes. <laughs> guys, guys, give me a hand with the suitcase. Why do I always have to lug the suitcase? You're the rookie. Besides, that thing looks heavy. Focus, people, focus. Okay, we're gonna sneak in a Sprinkle Studio dressed as kids. You got the costumes? Hey, the only thing left is this stupid pink dress. So, what's your point? I'm not wearing the dress. Uh-uh, no way, not in your life, never. So, you like it? Yeah, the shoes make the outfit. Excuse me, we're not sneaking in line. Oh, no, no, it's okay, folks, it's okay. We're the... You three, the end of the line's around the corner. But where the... Popular show, huh? Our fearless heroes found another way to get in, proving that there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. <laughs> Can we get some help, please? We're acting our tails off here. Much more impressive now, isn't it? Excuse me, hot coffee, I'm a doctor. Pregnant lady coming through. Hey, watch your feet. It's time for sprinkles, as you can see. Won't you come and play with me? I'll show you how to use a gun. Don't that sound? 
sound like lots of fun. <laughs> no wonder they call him Sprinkles. You know what time it is, boys and girls? It's time for the Wheel of Fun. <laughs> we know it's fun because it said so. Watch the wheel, I'll do my dance. Let the wheel put you in a trance. The Space Cats were amazed to discover that Sprinkles was actually hypnotizing America's children. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, go to Mommy's purse or Daddy's wallet, take out all the money, and mail it to Sprinkles the Clown, care of Channel 6. Send money to Sprinkles, care of Channel 6. Send money to Sprinkles, care of Channel 6. What can our heroes do to stop this nefarious scheme? Will they be able to save the children of the world from heading down the path to crime and really bad stuff? Stay tuned! Recall, children were being hypnotized to further Sprinkle's evil ends. Luckily for our heroes, space cats are super intelligent and cannot be hypnotized. Here's a simple and informative chart to illustrate this point. Here are three brains. The first belongs to a human, the second to a space cat, and the third to a professional wrestler. So, as anyone can see, space cats cannot be hypnotized. <laughs> I said, space cats cannot be hypnotized. It wasn't long before the space cats found Sprinkle's dressing room and attempted to pick the lock. Scratch, hand me the futuristic looking lock picking device. It's in here. I know I packed it. <laughs> What are we looking for anyway? Anything suspicious. Would bags grab with money be suspicious? Suspicious indeed. And the fact that the bags were addressed to Sprinkle's personal manager, Swifty Sleezoid, agent of the stars, might be an important clue. Thanks. We owe you one. No autographs. Now beat it. Hey, hey, what's going on? I can't see. He just screwed his head off. Does that seem odd to you? In what way? What in the heck is going on here? Where's the narrator? Sorry about that. It was obvious that Sprinkles was actually an evil robot clone. The clown's a clown. Our heroes put the clues together, with no small help from me, and found themselves at the Swifty Sleezoid Talent Agency and Driving School. Okay, okay, we get the idea. It's a really tall building. Swifty Sleezoid was one of the most evil agents in show business. He was a liar, a cheat, a scoundrel, a two-timing double-crossing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a real no-goodnik. Auga, Auga, radiation leak. Everyone not in a radiation suit, evacuate. Auga, Auga. A radiation leak? Possibly two. Exit by the stairway. Don't use the elevator. Snip, check the file. Scratch, dust the place for prints. I am going to sit in Swifty's chair and make some long-distance calls. Excuse me, but you wouldn't happen to be the space cats. <laughs> no, 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 not other cats, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, nice try. I'd like you to meet my goons. Goons, space cats. Space cats, goons. It was two big, violent, nasty goons against the space cats. As everybody knows, space cats abhor violence and also hate being sprayed with water. I don't think it makes us any less manly. After much deliberation, our heroes opted to settle their differences with a spelling bee. Alphabet. A-L-F. After losing the spelling bee, our heroes found themselves incarcerated in Swifty's basement prison. Incarcerated. I-N-K. Little did the space cats suspect that they were about to become part of Swifty's evil plot to take over the world. Right after this commercial. Hi, kitten. I'm home. What's for dinner? Why, your favorite, of course. Kitty Crunchy. Kitty Crunchy, they're a hit. Make the others taste like grits. Hey, hey! Enough already! That's not even a real commercial. 
Now, what about that evil plot? Oh, oh, right, the plot. Sprinkles was just a small fish in an evil pond, where Swifty was kidnapping famous people and replacing them with his diabolical robot clones. And I suggest we sign all our funds over to Swifty Sleazoid. All in favor, say aye. Aye! Even the gold supply at Fort Knox was not immune to Swifty's evil scheme. Orders from the top. All the gold in Fort Knox got sent to Swifty Sleazoid. Worst of all, Swifty made robot clones of the Space Cats. He wouldn't dare. Dare he did, for the Space Cats' evil robot clones embarked on a crime spree that shocked the nation. I'm shocked. Shocked, I'll say. What can I say? I'm shocked. Stick them up. You cats used to be so nice. Okay? Stick them up, please. The Space Cats clones committed every crime imaginable, including loading in a no-loading zone and laughing maniacally in a no-laughing maniacally zone. A tragic consequence of all this was the arrest and imprisonment of many ordinary law-abiding house cats. Yeah, the short one! He did it! Before sentencing, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Yes, it was a dark day for innocent cats. Yeah. And all our heroes could do was watch helplessly. Ouch. We're never gonna get out of here. We could, <laughs> if only we had our suitcase. The one you're sitting on? In no time, our heroes found themselves at Swifty's palatial estate. Maybe these clown footprints mean something. Maybe it means the real Sprinkles is around here somewhere. And if I'm not mistaken, he left a trail of balloon animals. Pool. There's my tennis court. There's my brick wall. Fortunately, the Space Cats never go anywhere without their camouflage leotards. Available at leading department stores. Action figures sold separately. And this is my wallpaper. And this is my fresco. Eventually, the trail of balloon animals led the Space Cats to Swifty's basement. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. <laughs> Not only did our heroes find Sprinkles, they also located the rest of Swifty's famous and not-so-famous kidnap victims. Don't worry, guys. We're here to free you. We're the... <laughs> Space Cats. Yeah, and we're the... <laughs> bad guys. And so, feeling particularly vicious, Swifty took the Space Cats for a ride on his evil yacht. Well, Space Cats, this looks like a good place for a swim. <laughs> I just ate less than an hour ago. I really shouldn't swim. Oh, don't worry. You won't swim. You'll sink. Say hello to Jaws for me. <laughs> Boys and girls. Wait, don't we get a last request? Sure. What kind of a bad guy would I be if I didn't give you a last request? I want to watch the Sprinkles the Clown show one last time. Uh, if I asked for popcorn, would that be pushing? Hey, boys and girls. It's time for the Wheel of Fun. And almost immediately, Swifty's goons went into a deep hypnotic trance. Fortunately, as we've demonstrated before, space cats cannot be hypnotized. What a brilliant plan! Getting these guys to turn on the TV was a stroke of genius. What plan? I just wanted to watch the Sprinkle Show. Today was fun with fire day. Look at me! I've got the whole world at my disposal. I'm a pretty powerful guy. Uh, name a state. I'll destroy it for you. Uh, Canada. My first choice. 
Oh, that's Swifty. Will you guys never learn that goodness always triumphs over evil? Well, almost always. Say goodbye. Wait a second. Destroying the world is one thing, but I draw the line in hurting animals. Honey, that was not a good thing to do. Well, I'm still taking over the world. <laughs> that was also not a good thing to do. <laughs> They're pretty smart for cats. <laughs> We're not just cats. We're the... Space cats! Yes, the world was safe, and everyone loved the space cats again. Yeah, I love those guys again. Gotta love them. Love them? I'll say. Yes, thanks to the space cats, the world was a better place to live and eat tuna. And as for Swifty Sleezoid, he was sentenced to 99 consecutive life sentences. Hey, I need power! When are we gonna get some electricity down here? At least we think it was Swifty Sleezoid. Until next time, this is your uh, 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 narrator saying goodbye for the uh, 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 space cats. Ouch! My head! It's time for today's Space Cats Words of Wisdom. Don't watch cartoons. They'll rot your brain. Don't say that. We'll lose our job. Watch cartoons. Especially with Space Cats in them. Until next time. Space Cats! Hey, kids, who's smarter than the average bear? It's Yo Yogi, coming up next, right here on NBC's Saturday Morning of Fun-Filled Cartoons.